Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, blue rectangle uh, A, B, C, D along with these uh, two line segments uh, B, E and uh, C, E as you can see in this given diagram such that uh, this uh, side uh, B, C length uh, equal to this uh, segment uh, C, E length and moreover uh, this segment uh, BE length is uh, 10 units whereas uh, this segment uh, CE length uh, is uh, 13 units and now our task is to calculate the area of this uh, blue rectangle ABCD please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale Let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step. We can see that this uh, segment uh, C E equal to this uh, side uh, B C. And now we know that this uh, segment uh, is uh, 13 units. So therefore this B C length has got to be 13 units as well. And we know if this uh, side uh, B C length is uh, 13 then this uh, A D side length has got to be 13 units as well and now let's assume that uh, this uh, segment uh, DE is uh, X then uh, this uh, tiny segment uh, AE length has got to be 13 minus X so this is going to be 13 minus X and furthermore I'm going to label uh, this side AB length uh, as Y then this uh, DC length has got to be Y as well. And now since we are interested in calculating the area of this uh, blue rectangle uh, ABCD. And now let's recall the area of rectangle formula. Area is always equal to length uh, times the width. And in our case uh, the length of this uh, rectangle is 13 whereas uh, the width is uh, Y. So therefore uh, this uh, blue rectangle ABCD area has got to be 13 times Y. And now our task is uh, to find the value of Y in order to calculate the area of this uh, blue rectangle. And here is our next step. Let's focus on this uh, right triangle CDE. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle. And here is our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square and in our case our hypotenuse is 13 whereas our two other legs are uh, x uh, and y. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. So this is going to give us uh, x square uh, plus uh, y square equals to 13 square. Let's simplify that is going to give us uh, x square plus uh, y square equals to 169 and I am going to label this one uh, as our equation number one and now we are going to focus on this other right triangle uh, ABE and we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle as well and here's our Pythagorean theorem once again a square plus b square equal to c square and in our case uh, our hypotenuse is uh, 10 whereas our two other legs are 13 minus x and y. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. So this is going to be 13 minus x whole square plus y square is going to be equal to 10 square. And now let's recall this famous identity a minus b whole square could be written as a square minus 2 times a b plus b square we are going to apply this identity on this uh, binomial on the left hand side of this equation so therefore this could be written as uh, 169 minus uh, 26 uh, x plus uh, x uh, square and then i'm going to write down uh, plus uh, y square equals to 10 square is going to be 100 on the right hand side and now let's focus on this equation 1 we know our x square plus y square value is 169 and we are going to substitute that value 169 over here so therefore we can write uh, 169 
minus 26x plus this whole thing is simply 169 equal to 100. Let's combine these uh, like terms. So this is going to give us 338 minus 26x equals to 100. And now I am going to move this 26x on the other side. Whereas I'm going to switch this uh, 100 to the opposite direction as well. So therefore 26x is going to be 238. And now I'm going to divide both sides uh, by 26 to isolate x. And here we can see 26 and 26 is gone. So therefore our x value is going to be equal to if we reduce uh, this right hand side that is going to give us uh, 119 divided by 13 units. So thus our uh, x value turns out to be 119 divided by 13. Let's focus on this uh, equation 1 once again. And here I have copied down equation 1 over here x square plus y square equal to 169. And we know our x value is 119 divided by 13. So I'm going to substitute uh, that value 119 divided by 13 over here. So therefore I could write uh, 119 divided by 13 whole square plus y square equal to 169. And now we are going to move this uh, term uh, to the other side. So therefore uh, we are ended up y square equal to 169 minus uh, 141 61 divided by 169 and now I'm going to tweak uh, this term I'm going to multiply and uh, divide by 169 at the same time so therefore uh, y square is going to be equal to 169 times 169 is going to give us 28,561 divided by 169 and then minus 141 61 divided by 169 and this way we got the common denominator as 169 and that is going to give us y square equals to 144 with two zeros divided by 169 and I'm going to undo the square with the square root on both the sides as you can see so therefore we can see that our y value is going to be the square root of uh, the numerator is going to be 120 divided by the square root of the denominator is going to be 13 and here's our final step now we are going to calculate the area of this blue rectangle ABCD and that is equal to 13 times Y and our Y value is 120 divided by 13 I'm going to replace that one with 120 divided by 13 over here so therefore uh, the blue rectangle area is going to be 13 times our Y value is 120 divided by 13 and here we can see this 13 and 13 is gone so therefore the blue rectangle area turns out to be 120 square uh, units so thus the area of this uh, blue rectangle ABCD turns out to be 120 square units and that's our final uh, answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye